You know, when you're in the market for a new uh, landscape photography bag, there's a multitude of different decisions and variances and options you need to try and, uh, you know, navigate through and figure out to ultimately determine, you know, the, the bag that you want to go with. And probably the, the most important decision you need to make in the very beginning is what size bag do you uh, want to carry? You know, you need a 20 liter bag, 40 liter bag, 60 liter bag. And ultimately what's going to dictate that, of course, is the size of your kit and how often or how long you're going to be out in the field. You know, you have a, um, a small kit and you're only going to go out for half a day or you have a larger pro body kit. You're going out for um, multiple days. It's, uh, you know, that's ultimately going to decide what size bag that you get. And I get a, not, not a lot of questions, but I do get this you know, kind of reoccurring question from time to time. And it's, you know, what's my favorite 20 liter bag? What's my favorite 40 liter bag? And it kind of got me thinking. And I usually try to shy away from picking a favorite because there's so many great ones out there today. But there is one bag in particular. It's a 26 liter pack that um, I've had for almost two years now. I absolutely love it. I, in my opinion, it's probably the best mid 20 liter range bag on the market today for the money. And it's made by a company, Mindshift Gear. Um, there's a very good chance you've heard of them before. They're actually the, the sister company of Think Tank Photo. But uh, the Mindshift um, division or branch of the company actually focuses on outdoor and landscape photography uh, focused gear. So the bag is the uh, Backlight 26 liter. And this bag is fantastic. It's like I said, I've used it for a couple years now. I have very, very few gripes about this bag. It's, uh, it's perfect for a one full day out in the field. And um, I think it's designed very, very well. There's a lot of elements in here that are, are no frills, but they just work flawlessly. And one of my favorite, you know, kind of non-photo related features of this bag is this front area opening here where it's kind of like a mini office. You could put um, a 15 inch laptop computer. You can easily fit a full size iPad along with uh, pens, pencils, and any kind of other smaller accessories you want. And it's right in the front of the bag. It's easy to access, especially if you're on a plane or, you're, or a train and you're traveling. It's always good to be able to access those items. And this bag makes that ex easily accessible, which is a fantastic option in my opinion. And it also has not one, but two areas where you can put a full-size 32-inch Nalgene water bottle. Um, I usually don't have uh, a water bottle on both sides, but if you want to have that uh, as uh, an option, you could, it's nice that it's there. And it also has kind of like these little cinch cords, so you can really cinch it down. There's no water bladder system in this bag, which is fine by me, so you have to rely on water bottles. So um, you, you know me, I, uh, I prefer a water bottle anyway, so uh, no issue there. Let's, uh, let's take it over to the desk and get a closer look. All right, so the Mindshift Gear Backlight 26 liter, it comes in three different color schemes. It comes in the, uh, the woodland green, a green field and a charcoal. This of course is the, the charcoal version. The woodland green and the green field is just really a kind of different color schemes of green, different versions of green, but very, very similar look to them. Now, as far as the exterior of the bag goes, it's a very durable material. It's a water repellent, or it has a water repellent coating. And even the underside of the actual fabric has a polyurethane coating as well. So this bag is very water repellent. Uh, it's, um, I've never had any issue with water actually getting inside the contents of this bag, so that is not a problem or a worry whatsoever. There's a YKK zippers throughout the entire pack, which is to be expected, but Mindshift actually takes it a little bit farther with these fantastic zipper pulls. These are the best zipper pulls I've ever seen on a photography bag. I love these. It's little like half moon grommet plastic thingies at the very end, very durable easy to get your fingers into, easy to find at night if your hands are cold and, or if you have gloves on, it's just very easy to get a hold of these. So it's a, a very minor detail, but it's uh, very appreciated, appreciated, I should say. Now, as far as the, uh, the, the front side of the bag goes, we've already seen the actual laptop compartment. There's also a secondary opening right here where you can really put anything you want in here. I've always put a, a rain jacket or a, a change of clothes in here, but whatever you want to store in there, you can. There is uh, additional kind of a, a attachment points. There's seven of them right here. There's three of these on each side. 
And there's also an attachment point here. There's a uh, ice ax or trekking pole attachments here. These are uh, very simple kind of daisy chain style where you just um, attach the one end here, run the other end through there and just simply lock it down in place. So uh, these are very common. They work great to keep whatever you're, you have on your back from flopping around, which will drive you mad when you're hiking. So that's a good thing. Now, as far as the actual tripod attachment goes, there's three different ways to do it which is a pretty unusual. Most bags have usually two different ways to carry a tripod. This has three and they're all three good options, which is great. So the, uh, the option that they advertise is uh, across the front right here. You'll notice this little icon here. So if you unvelcro this, the secret pocket comes out with two straps. There's a similar setup here in the front where two straps come out. Now the way this works, very straightforward. You just put the legs of your tripod down here and you latch it into place like so, if I can get it. And then you do the same thing up here. And that's really it. Very easy, it's quick. You can really cinch it down and it keeps the, the tripod from once again, you know, flopping around. So it really keeps it secure when you're hiking, which is great. But what's really cool is if, if you don't wanna use this method or Maybe you just don't have a tripod you're carrying at the time. These little devices or storage pockets stow back inside of the bag themselves. So it really keeps a nice clean look. And the same thing up here, these straps just kind of tuck back away here. So it's um, very streamlined. I don't like having straps just flopping around my bag if they're not being used at all. So that's a very nice clean look. Now, as far as the other options to carry your tripod go, you can carry uh, one on each side if you wanted to, utilizing the one of two water bottle holders. So um, once again, very straightforward. You just put the legs of your tripod in here. You would cinch this down like so, tighten that up, and then you would lock this down here. So in theory, if you happen to have three tripods, you could carry all of them at the same time with this bag. I've never carried more than two tripods at the very most. And uh, I actually usually utilize the, the side compartments here. Either carry one on one side and a water bottle on the other just to kind of counterweight the balance or just carry one right down the middle. So uh, a multitude of different options. Now, one thing I did forget to mention here, there's another little compartment right here in the front. Very thin, but it's a great spot to put um, you know, a passport, a wallet, SD cards, extra batteries, your car keys, your cell phone, anything like that right there in the front pocket. Just kind of like your essentials, really. So I'm a big fan of that. I like pockets for smaller things on the outside of the bag. So that's a nice touch. Now, as far as the side that actually touches your body goes, it's um, got a great harness system, nice thick padding, not too thick though. What's great though is this nice curved feature here really kind of hugs the underneath your arm. So it's a, a very comfortable pack. You have additional attachment points here on both harness. You have your standard sternum strap here, nothing fancy with that. It's adjustable as well. Now, um, you know, overall, this is a, a very comfortable bag. Uh, I, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I've hiked with it all day before. It looks good on too. So, um, you know, that's definitely important. The bag's gotta look good. It's easy to put on. So uh, really no issues with that at all. And as far as the actual waist belt goes, this is really one of my only gripes with this bag. The waist belt's great, perfect amount of padding, good um, you know buckle system. But I think with a 26 liter bag, you don't always need to have a waist belt. I actually found very few times where I had so much gear in here that it warranted me wearing a waist belt. So I think it'd be nice if this was actually able to be detached. Keep the same waist belt, just if it was able to come, on, come off and you could leave it at home if you don't have a ton of gear in here. I think waist belts are really best served for bags, you know, closer to the uh, the 35 and above above liter range, especially 40 liter packs and above. But um, you know, that's not that big of an issue. Maybe I'm being a little bit picky about it, but overall, it's a very good, comfortable bag. It's uh, got great ventilation, good air channels here on the back. This lumbar support is fantastic. I don't have the best quality back. And this is probably one of the thickest lumbar supports I've ever seen on a, uh, on a photography backpack. So that is one of the most comfortable things about this bag for me personally. Now, as far as the actual inside of the bag goes, you have these great heavy gauge YKK zippers on the back. And when you open it up, it's kind of your standard uh, setup here. 
very highly configurable. They give you extra dividers as well. This is configured for, for my setup, which I would usually put a uh, my Sony a7R2 with a mounted 16 to 35, a 70 to 200, my uh, Mavic Pro in here. I put my uh, my filter setup, which is the actually the, the Mind Shift Gear Filter Hive. It fits right in here, and it actually looks like it was part of the bag, which is really cool. And if you're not familiar with what the Filter Hive is, I did a review on this a few weeks ago, which I'll link above in this video if you want to take a look at that. And uh, oh, a very nice touch. Talking about small details, Mind Shift gives you a seam sealed rain cover with the bag as well. So very nice touch. Very few bag manufacturers today include the uh, the uh, actual rain cover with it. Usually you have to buy that um, after the fact. So it's nice that they uh, include that in the overall purchase of the bag. Now this bag retails for $249. And, but the best part is, is you don't have to buy an additional insert that's, you know, 75 or another hundred dollars. The $250 gets you everything that you need. So for the value, I think that it, it, it's definitely there. Now, as far as the actual, um, you know, back panel here, they do a good job of utilizing this negative space by putting these large, thin mesh pockets here. You know, you, you can't put a ton of gear in here, but it's great for, I put uh, step up rings for my filters in here or SD cards or cords and wires. It's just, it's just nice to not have this be an area of complete waste. So at least they did something with it and put some good pockets there. But, um, you know, overall, like I mentioned, $250, it's really hard to, to beat this bag. I mean, it's uh, it holds plenty of enough gear for a day, maybe two days, just depending on your kit. But, uh, you know, overall, I think for the value, you're going to be hard pressed to find more bang for your buck than the back backlight 26 liter. You know, if you think about it, it really is unusual that, you know, this bag came out, uh, you know, two plus years ago, and it's still best in class in that mid 20 liter range, in my opinion. And that's pretty unusual. Usually bags, you know, they're trumped year after year as new and better bags and design elements are always released. So it really is a true testament to the, the Mind Shift Gear team that the, the bag they created two years ago is uh, still very, very relevant today. So uh, a lot of good design work went into that bag. So, you know, job well done. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment below. I guarantee I'll get back to you. And, I, and I'll put a link in the description also. So if you want to take a deeper look at the bag, you can. Um, you know, if uh, if you did enjoy the video, if you could give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're, if you're not already. Definitely would appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week. Bye.